What's going on everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great day. All right guys, got a quick video, but nonetheless, it's still pretty cool. And when you see this, you're just going to be like, okay, it looks like this, but it may be something else. It's that weird kind of anomaly, right? We're on back on Mars. I know a lot of you guys are like, hey man, what happened to all the Mars stuff? We're definitely going to be doing getting back to Mars like we should be, right? Uh, as well as the moon. And we're going to try to get into some other things as well because you guys requested that. All right, let me show you what I'm talking about. This is from 1386, this Sol. And here it is right here. You can see it at the top here, Jet Propulsion Laboratory. Uh, and you can see it right here, NASA. And this is the actual photo we're looking at. Now, in the description, it's basically telling you it's the Molly Cam. And basically what they did was they just put it underneath the deck. And you can see it right here. This is the belly of the, the Curiosity rover, right? And uh, what they did was um, they wanted to look at the wheels and just see how bad they were shredded. Like, this one's not bad. This one looks like it's an awful shape compared to this one, which is rather odd, right? Um, so they're telling you, you know, at what position the Molly uh, uh, lens was at and all this other good stuff, right? So it says most images acquired by the Molly in daylight use the sun as illumination source. However, in some cases, Molly's two groups of white LEDs and one group of long wave ultraviolet or UV LEDs might be used to illuminate targets. When Curiosity acquired this image, the group one white LED, uh, light LEDs rather, were off the group two white leds were off and the ultraviolet lights were off so basically they're saying all the lights were off but it you know a lot of people didn't know that this thing actually has led lights so that means this thing can continue, continue on at night right think about it a minute i mean that's pretty cool so it can look into small holes more you know uh multiple crevices without any daylight if it didn't need or if it is daylight and it still can't see because of shadowing they can still use led lights to look inside whatever this may be right um, or objects, or underneath rocks, or whatever. Small cave-like areas, whatever it may be, right? All right, the object we're looking at, I'm going to go ahead and just click right here on the full resolution. The object is right here, right here inside this, the wheel itself. Now, if you look, you can see these lighted areas, which is basically coming, the sun's coming through the wheel, and down here. Okay, so now it almost appears to be almost 12 noon kind of thing. So I don't remember if, I think it was just the three sections of these, cutouts in the wheel you notice how they're not here right these cutouts say uh, jpl uh i don't know if it says nasa jpl uh in morse code basically and cut out into the wheel um and what it is is that the sunlight's coming through there onto the actual inside of the wheel well this object just happens to be inside the wheel and it happens to be right there inside the light is, is it just pure coincidence that this happened it just happened to be right there in the light itself let me show you this a lot closer in uh, in Photoshop because this is pretty cool, right? I'm going to click back off of this, go to here, the raw image page itself. Now let's jump into this. This is what it looked like, the photo itself. That's how big it was at the time. And we just go ahead and blew it up for you guys. Now let's get into this. And we also manually adjusted the color. You can see right here to get it more natural, as you can see. And I hit uh, auto adjust right here. And you can go to the upper left-hand side of the uh, uh, Photoshop, and you can see right here an image. Click on the Auto Tone first, Auto Contrast, and then Auto Color. And it usually gives you a more reasonable color. I do manual. You can do either or. Uh, it still gets rid of this orangey kind of puke color, right? All right, so let's jump into this because I want you guys to see that this is pretty cool. Now, I looked at this thing, and I'm saying, man, this thing looks too... It just has a design to it, right? Let me show you what I'm talking about. When you look at this thing, it goes like this. Goes across, back down, comes down here. And it does something else, but they put it like they, it looks like they smudged this area out. I don't know why, but they did. Um, it looks like it still goes down like this. Kind of like, almost like this, almost looks like a leg to something. See that? Goes like this. Has this area right here. Almost has this something else right here, and it does the same thing. What could that possibly be, guys? Now, let me explain to you why I think this is weird. People will say, well, what you're seeing, man, is the ground. Are we? And I thought maybe we were seeing through the hole of this uh, this wheel, but check this out. You can see where these lighted spots coming through the top of the wheel here. Up at the top. Right? You can see them coming down on the inside of the wheel. but And you can see the position of the wheel right here. Okay? And right in this area is where these lighted areas are coming f through the wheel. One, two, and three, right? Okay, that area is completely 
off the ground. You can see the difference. So we're not seeing the ground. Here's another thing to look out for. When you look at this area here, I'm going to zoom into it. When you look at this here, it has its own shadow. Again, here, goes across, down, goes like this. And they, like I said, they've taken this black right here. See this right here? And they kind of took it out. Almost like there's another leg to this. Is this kind of some kind of weird little, uh, you know, I'm going to get all sci-fi on you guys right now. But is it some kind of like little, little robot creature type thing that crawled into this thing? I don't know. It's weird because... It has its own shadow right here. You can see it under it. See that? Boom, 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 boom. And it has its own shadow going like this here. Can you see that? Come on, guys. And because the shadow's coming down this way and not directly onto it like this, this is the reason why you see the shadow coming. It's doing this. The shadow's going like this. Like that. So the shadow's coming from this direction and not straight on the top of it. Okay, so now I'm looking at this thing and I'm going, wow, this is bizarre. Does this thing have any details on the top of it that we can bring out? And I did. This is what we ended up with. Now it almost looks like the wheel has been torn here. This is the reason why I'm docking up these areas to see if we can see that. Because um, if you look right here, eh, you can see it a little bit right there. You can see it right there. But... When you bring this thing up, you can see it a lot better. It almost looks like it's torn right here. Right? But when you look at this thing, you can see just like something here, something here, something here, something there. It almost looks like this weird little robot. And it seems to me, if look at this real close, they fudge this area out. I'm not sure what to make of that. See that? Is it another one of these things coming down like this? And you can see one on the other side. It looks like it kind of like goes off to the side. I don't know if you guys can see that very clearly. But right there, like this this object goes like this. And it almost looks... Look at the way this thing's shaped. Let me just show you this real quick. And you can see on the other side... Now this may be because of this piece of the wheel is kind of not giving it the same... Goes like this... But you can see something coming down like this. This side coming out. This side's doing the same. I don't I don't know, guys. I mean, whatever this thing is, to me it looks it looks like uh maybe a remnant of something. Uh is it like I said, is it possible getting all sci-fi on you guys? Is it possible that this thing is some kind of little you know, mechanical probe type thing? Or is it some kind of trinket that just happened to be on the ground and it poked its way through the wheel? The thing about it is, though, I only see it ripped here. The wheel's only ripped here and possibly here. So how did this whole thing make its way into the wheel? That's what's crazy. And it is, in fact, sitting on top of the wheel. And again, we've got, this has been blurred. I think there's something like this right here. I think there's, some, there's another one right here. What do you guys think? Check that out. I think whatever that thing is, it's going down like this. It's almost like a leg, right? And I think this one does it as well. And if it doesn't, that's fine. But why has it been blurred out? It's almost like they purposely did that. Let me just bring this down a little bit. It's a little too much. You can see this going like this here pretty darn clearly. And that thing is pretty well shaped. Now, I don't know if this thing goes down like this with another one of these because you can clearly see that this thing goes like this real faintly but it comes down and you got this other I'm going to call it a leg because I'm not sure what to make of that, this thing right like this this actually may go across like this but because this part of the wheel is up we're not seeing it we're seeing just a little bit of a shadow underneath it see that and we've got this coming back down it looks like something right there just barely can you guys see that just right there is that the same? Is it a leg like this side? Right? Is that a leg as well as this side? And then you've got something that goes off this side. Is it like a leg on this side? It almost looks like, to me, I'm going to be honest with you guys. If I didn't know any better, it looked like a sci If I was to think sci-fi, if I was to think science fiction or like a little uh, mechanical robot or something like that or uh, anything like that, it would look like a mechanical scorpion. All it would need is a freaking tail like this. Um, you know what I mean? <laughs> 
<laughs> That's what it would seem like. That's what it kind of looks like. This mechanical scorpion only without the tail. Um, I don't know. It may very well just be a piece of trash that was on the surface itself. Now, how did it get lodged in the wheel? Like I said, when it does this, and you can see what it looks like right here, maybe another rip in the wheel right there. So I'm going, okay, how did this thing get up inside that way? I'm, I'm a little confused, unless we're just not seeing the rest of this rip in this thing. But either way, this thing is sticking through the wheel, and it was sharp enough to puncture it, if that's the case. Or did they just draw this over it and make it look like, oh, yeah, it's just a piece of garbage stuck in the wheel? What do you guys think? I think it's something stuck in the wheel. However, this thing had to be pretty darn tough to get through this. I forgot how many... Um, I don't know if this is like 60 thousandths thickness on the aluminum, because these are aluminum wheels. Now, keep in mind, this is just a side lip on this thing, on the wheel, like you would have a side wall on your tire in your car, right? Um, but the actual thickness of the wheel, the flat part of the wheel is like, I think it's like 60 thousandths. It's uh, really thin, um, and not very, but it is aluminum. So it is pretty strong without being heavy. And that was the whole idea of this, this uh, rover, right? Um, what do you guys think this is? Give you one last glance at it. I'm going to go ahead and do it that way. Just This is the raw photo right here. What do you guys think? Let me get up close. Check that out. Whatever this thing is, it literally has design to it. And what I mean by that is you can see what looks like these little pieces in here. Is it possible some kind of ancient trinket or some kind of, I don't know. Um, I, I just don't know what to make of this thing. This is crazy, man. I'm going to back out just a little bit, get a little bit clearer, let you guys see that. Tell me what you guys think. I'd be curious to know. And I'm looking at this thing and I'm saying, if this is just some piece of trash, right, then I'll tell you what, it's pretty sharp in order to puncture this wheel. Or was the puncture already there and somehow this thing just worked its way into it? That's a possibility, right? Um, whatever this thing is, though, it doesn't look natural. It looks like, again, it looks like it has mechanical legs to it. I think there's something right here where they smudged that out and it has this thing right here. And you can see the, almost the back end doing like this. And again, we get the shadow coming down this way and not completely straight down. And you can see the shadow actually going like this. I don't know if you guys can see this clearly, but right there, you can see just a, right there going across and then back down. So you've got this corner to here. You've got this corner here. Whoop, I did that wrong. You can see where these corners go to these right here. So you can see the sun angle coming down from it. I don't know. I think this is pretty cool. Whatever the hell that thing is, it looks kind of mechanical. -like. Give me your thoughts on this, guys. It's pretty crazy. What do you guys think of that? Well, back way out. Give you guys a full perspective. There you go. All right. Anyway, guys, drop your comments down below. You know, uh, I'd like to hear you guys' thoughts and maybe what this may be. Nothing more than a piece of flat rock sticking through the wheel. Um, clearly, it's not the ground because the, the, the wheel, that part of the wheel is now off the ground. So it's not the ground we're seeing. And clearly, you can see a shadow that's uh, underneath this so-called object or this anomaly that's lodged in this wheel, right? So Anyway, guys, comment, throw your thoughts below. Let me know what you think. And as always, like and definitely share the video. Always appreciate it. You guys know that. And don't forget, this Sunday's Hangout is at 7 p.m. Eastern Time, not 8. We decided to move it back an hour so everybody in the U.K. can enjoy this a little bit too. So anyway, guys, have yourself a good night, and I'll see you in the Hangout.